fucking Siri us? <laughs> cool. This is Marcus Kova with the uh, MMA Nut and Studio MMA, and we're here with Mike Powell, uh, who just uh, got done uh, whooping my ass. Thank you very much for that. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, I came in today, and uh, Jay Heron was just done, and we were here for an interview with him. Obviously, he's fighting for for the title on yeah. Saturday night. And he tells you that I'm crazy, and uh, that's kind of an insult to me because I think you're probably top three crazies I've ever met, and I've really? met Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I think I want to say thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's yeah, absolutely. I think I want to say thanks. Um, you, you're gonna be with the, with Jay on uh -huh. Saturday night, yeah. and uh, any anything in particular that any concerns with this with this? Uh, I know he's a wrestler. You're his opponent. Any anything in particular with with Jay? It seems real confident. Well, I'm not really concerned that. Uh, you know, asking hurting Jay in, in any way, you know, or, or, or rocking him or shaking him or anything like that in a fight. However, you know, he could, you know, wrestle, you know, out wrestle him and, and hold him on the ground, you know, and just be, you know, boring, you know, kind of the way he has been, you know. I hear he's really strong, uh, but Jay's really strong, you know. Jay, Jay's a very good fighter, and Askren's a very good wrestler, and this is a fight, so we'll, we'll see how we'll see how it works out. And it's not like Jay doesn't know how to wrestle either. Not at all. Jay knows how to wrestle well. You know, he's a very good wrestler. He's probably one of the better wrestlers that we have here in Extreme. And you have some decent guys in here. Yourself. Um, we we're just talking with uh, Jay about that as well. Your guys' team, uh, and all, almost all of you, you just you are fought, about to fight, or recently fought. Gray Maynard, yourself, Martin's about to fight. Mm -hmm. Jay's fighting Saturday night. Um, is it easy when all of you say find them around the same time, or is it a little bit harder? Well, it, it's it's good for the morale, but then it's 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 hard to get that attention from the coaches. You know what I mean? When everybody's fighting, you know, and and you know everybody's coming in, and uh, you know, on the final week, and you know needing the coaches, you know, so we, we try to put it construct it to where everybody's getting you know a piece of you know everything. But um, but yeah, it's uh it's exciting. You know, there's a lot of testosterone going around. You know, a lot of positive attitude. So, it's good. It's good. It's good to have everybody fighting around the same time. And then when you have someone who's not, you know, uh, when only one guy are fighting, then a lot of the guys can give a lot of attention to to the guy who needs you know, the attention. You know, the fighter. So. Um, and talking about attention tonight, we we were actually training with the amateur class, and you just fought and you fought a tough fight um, and, and you're in there and you're helping all the amateurs and it's mm -hmm. late at night and you were just helping Matt Machon who's fighting Saturday night mm -hmm. uh, who's fighting a tough opponent in, in, in Czech Congo um, uh, you, you love this I, I do I, I, this is this has always been you know since 93 you know I've been training in martial arts since 93 when I was 19 um, and uh, I, I love it you know what I mean it's uh, when I, have, when I have the time off like this to, to sit around and, and try to help, when I see something and I try to help somebody with that, it, it helps me remember, you know, uh, you know certain tex techniques and it also helps keep me sharp, you know, and, uh, you know, these are this is the future, you know, the, these guys in the amateur team are the, are the future, you know, of MMA and uh, they need to go out and do it right, you know, they need to get in there, to get out there and get a good payday and you know and, and you know and be the best that they can and if I can you know be a part of that then then hey I, I, I'll do it uh, the future Rory McDonald yep. uh, definitely definitely a top prospect mm -hmm. uh, what did he bring to the plate that uh, a lot of other guys have not been able to do with you uh, well you know what I don't really know the fight was so short um, it was just a bad night for me you know um, I don't think that it would go down like that again ever. Uh, but you know that's in the past. He was a better man that night. Uh, everything was just a uh, a blur for me. So I don't really. I haven't looked at the fight since then. I, I don't really have an explanation of what the hell went wrong there. I'm just. Uh, you haven't looked at it at all. Not at all. Not at all. I'm very disappointed in uh, my my performance. And um, yeah, like I said, I didn't really get to. Uh, you know, when I wanted to do something, I was able to do it. You know, like the takedowns, and you know, I was able to take them down when I want it. But then, I don't know. I just kind of, I just kind of shit the bed, man. I don't know. It's a good expression. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, before I came up and trained here, uh, Mac Danzig, who I trained with in in, in LA, uh, PKG, uh, mm -hmm. said there's two guys that runs take all the juice out of me. It's Mike Powell and Gray Maynard. <laughs> and 
Mac wants to just oh absolutely Crazy and beast. and so is Mac and uh, I know what he, I know what it means now from from training with you tonight. Um, your take on on Gray's fight with Frankie? Uh, mm -hmm. I can't believe it, that first round was almost identical to the it, to the it second was just round. Just like you know, it would be hard. The only way to be able to tell the difference is that Gray's got a little longer hair. So if he was to just throw both fights on, and then ask me which one was which. Shit, I couldn't tell you, you know, except for the long hair, the longer hair, you know. But, yeah, wow, that was awesome. And I was on the edge of my seat. That was crazy, you know. It, that was awesome. It was an awesome fight, and, you know. So close. Uh, if, uh, again. So close so close to being the champ. Um, how's he doing? Oh, he's doing good. You know, I was talking when we went, went out uh, last night. and uh, Got drunk? No, I didn't get drunk. We, uh. We got hi. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, we were, we just chilling, having some Mexican food, you know, and just chatting and uh, you know chopping it up. We haven't seen each other in a while, so so uh, yeah, you know, just chopping it up. Martin is fighting in two mm -hmm. weeks. Uh, tough opponent in in Rick Story. Uh, yeah. uh, you are you going with him as well? No, I won't be going with him. You will take on that one, obviously. Uh, I'm pretty sure you think Martin's gonna win that fight. I'd be biased on that. Uh, just just out of sheer toughness and 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 you know, um, I I think that Martin is a lot more skillful. Um, and uh, just more well rounded, more well rounded. Well rounded. He's about way more well rounded than than uh. Unimpenetrable. <laughs> <laughs> What's next for you? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, I should be, you know, trying to you know. Fish around a little bit, let them know that I'm, you know, interested in fighting. So it's your chance right now. Anyone you want to call out? Um, no, not right now. You know, there's a couple of rematches I'd like. I'd love to have a rematch with Roy, but that's just the way it is. It just I wanted that one. I want that one back pretty bad, but that ain't gonna happen. You know, not right now. So just what it, what you know, whatever the UFC wants to do. You know, I'm in no position to be calling anybody out right now after that piss poor performance. So. Oh, oh yeah, it's. Uh you know, you could call, you could call, I wouldn't call it piss poor performance, uh, uh, but uh, you're you're a funny guy, and uh, we were actually I don't know if you know that we you and me were in the same movie once. We did a movie uh, with uh, Mike Burton, a comedian uh, who performs both in LA and in Las Vegas mm -hmm. at the Improv. Yeah. Who um, should go see him? He's funny as hell. Sometimes he's here at the uh, at the Improv. No, here in Vegas. Extreme Couture. No, the stand up that he does. Oh, uh, crazy Sahara. Holes. Oh yeah, Sahara. Is that's it that's Sahara's? Improv. That's improv. That's called improv. Yeah, okay, yeah. go see him there. Go Funny see him guy. there. Uh, afterwards, it's usually at the uh, at the Crazy Horse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Funny <laughs> little hairy guy. Can't miss him. Bad receding hairline. <laughs> Do you know he's a, a black belt in Krav Maga? Yeah, he tells me every time he sees me. Oh, he, he does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he uh, actually <laughs> just went went for his second dan uh, as well. Oh, yeah? Yes, and he passed. And uh, he's probably the youngest looking seventy two year old I know. I, I'm telling you, you know, it's just. Do you know it? <laughs> Do you know? Yes, he's <laughs> definitely Jewish. And uh, you can actually see him in a, an upcoming movie with uh, Kevin James, where Boz Rutten will also be partaking. A lot of these guys are going into acting. Is it yeah. something you want to get into I, as well? I would love to. Now, what film is this that you said that you and I both were in? It was uh, it was a little short one with uh, where he's trying to show gun defense and oh, you're on top of yeah, him okay, and Martin yeah. uh, <laughs> with the Gatorade machine and uh, I'm his coach. I remember, I remember, yeah. Okay, I remember that now. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever beaten Mike up? I would never do a thing like that. Of course I have. <laughs> so uh, acting, do you do? You, uh, is this something you want to get into? You yeah. Taking classes? Uh, well, you know, here in Vegas, there's not really that much. Um, Acting. Not many coaches or that, you know, much opportunity. Uh, you know, it's hard. Um, you know, you, you've kind of, you're around a lot of the guys in the business. And, uh, you know, it's not that easy of a business to, to break into, um, even if you're all the time out chilling with these guys. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's hard, you know. Uh, and, you know, you got to have skill, just like in, in the fighting game. you got to give it 100%. you got to be after it every day. And... Unfortunately, I'm in the fight game, and I have to be at that 100% uh, on top of that every day. You know, I'm in the best league that there is. I'm in the best organization, rather, that there is, and that's the UFC. Um, I have to really buckle down, and I really have to, you know, maintain being here, you know, all the time. And, and, and on the other hand, if you want to act, 
you got to be on top of that 100% all the time. So it's kind of hard for me to try to, you know, it's hard. After what I what I would love to, I would love to. You know, I just recently got to do uh, uh, Men in Black Three. I was, I was You're joking now. You've been serious. Yeah, I'm very serious. Um, uh -huh. So I would have thought they would have chosen Jay uh, Jay Hirono over you for that. No, I had a, I I, had, I was an alien, <laughs> and I was in some weird looking clothes, so I was more like a Galian. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was a couple, a few months back, and and at the same time, a week before that, I was in a film with Jason Statham. Oh. A real quick, I was a Russian guy getting my ass kicked real quick in there. Uh, so I've gotten to get in some pretty cool things, you know, and then of course Universal Soldier that I did. I don't know if you know about that or not. Um, no, no, for sure. Oh, no, yeah, um, did you do this with Jake? Because I know Jay's doing some stunts as well. Jay's doing some stunts, and uh, he gets he gets a lot of that work. You know, often uh, I'm not really good at driving cars and whipping around corners and shit. I'd rather, you know, do some fight scenes and, and uh, you know. Mike Powell, 10 years from now, what are you doing if you're not acting? Just probably sitting out in the middle of nowhere fly fishing. That doesn't sound bad. Fat cigars. <laughs> Just out there chilling. You said, what do you do now after this? You going home? I'm going to go home and pack. I got to go I gotta go with Jay when he goes uh, to, uh, for the Bellator, when he fights for the welterweight championship with Ben Askren at Bellator. So. And, uh, early in the morning. Early in the morning, 6 a.m., correct? 6 a.m. flight. So guess what time I got to get up? 5.45. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to follow one of the funniest guys in the game, Mike Pyle, what's your Twitter? Uh, follow me at Mike underscore Pyle. Now. Right now. <laughs> Do it. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, brother. My hand's Appreciate still messed it. up, so. <laughs>